हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो आई वेलकम यू अगैन टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास एंड टूडे विल डू चैप्टर नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम योर हनी सकल बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज फेयर प्ले रिटन बाय मुंशी प्रेमचंद दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट टू फ्रेंड्स नेम्ड जुम्मन शेख एंड अलगू चौधरी आई एल एक्सप्लेन दिस स्टोरी इन टू पार्ट्स दिस इज द पार्ट वन ऑफ द स्टोरी एंड स्टे ट्यून फॉर द पार्ट टू so uh, let's start reading this interesting story juman sheik and algu chaudhary were good friends so strong was their bond of friendship that when either of them went away from the village the other looked after his family both were greatly respected in the village so this paragraph tells us that juman sheik and algu chaudhary were very good friends and uh, their bond of friendship was very strong and their bond of friendship was so strong that whenever one of them had to go out of the village for some work the other friend used to take care of the other family okay so uh, both of them were greatly respected in the village juman had an old aunt who had some property this she transferred to him on the understanding that she would stay with him and he would look after her the arrangement worked well for a couple of years then the situation changed Juman and his family were tired of the old relative. Juman became as indifferent to her as his wife, who grudged even the little food that the old lady wanted every day. She swallowed these insults along with her food for a few months, but patience has its limits. So here the phrase became indifferent means lost interest in or did not care for. The word grudged means gave unwillingly or felt angry or unhappy about giving and the phrase swallowed these insults means tolerated them so this paragraph tells us that juman's aunt had some property which she transferred to juman's name in return she expected him to look after her and this settlement worked uh, for 2 uh, years couple of years means for 2 years after that juman and his family's behavior towards her changed actually they were fed up with her and juman showed no interest in her his wife gave her food unwillingly but she tolerated this misbehavior only for few days one day she spoke to juman my son it is now obvious that i am not wanted in your house kindly give me a monthly allowance so that i can set up a separate kitchen so here the word obvious means clear and the word allowance means a sum of money paid regularly to a person to meet needs or expenses so uh, when juman's aunt couldn't tolerate that misbehavior she finally spoke to juman she told juman that uh, she knew that she is unwanted in the house nobody liked her so he asked juman to give her uh, some money on the monthly basis so that she can manage her separate kitchen my wife knows best how to run the house be patient said juman shamelessly this made his aunt very angry and she decided to take her case to the village panchayat so when juman's aunt talked about a separate kitchen uh, juman shamelessly replied that his wife knew how to run the house and asked her aunt to be patient patient means to be calm and uh, this made juman's aunt very angry and she decided to take her case to the village panchayat for many days the old lady was seen talking to the villagers explaining her case and seeking their support some sympathized with her others laughed at her and a few others advised her to make it up with her nephew and his wife at last she came to algu chaudhary and spoke to him you know chachi juman is my best friend how can i go against him algu said but is it right my son to keep mum and not say what you consider just and fair pleaded the old lady come to the panchayat and speak the truth she said algu didn't reply but her words kept ringing in his ears so here the word seeking means looking for the word sympathized means understood someone's problems the phrase make it up means come to an agreement with and the word mum means quiet or silent so this paragraph tells us that uh, juman's aunt talked to the villagers about her matter she discussed every detail of the matter and asked for their help 
Some people understood her problem, some made fun of her and some others suggested her to uh, agree with her nephew and his wife. Finally, Juman's aunt talked to Algu Chaudhary, who was Juman's best friend. Algu told Juman's aunt that it was not possible for him to go against his friend because Juman was his best friend. He uh, couldn't go against his best friend. Okay. After listening to Algu Chaudhary's reply, Juman's aunt asked him if it was the right thing to keep quiet and not to speak against uh, the wrong thing. She further told him to come to the panchayat and speak for what was right. However, Algu did not say anything at that time, but uh, her words kept bothering him. Her words kept disturbing him. Okay. Now, do you know why her words kept on disturbing him all the time? Because Algu knew that uh, his friend Juman was wrong. But uh, because uh, Juman was his best friend, so he did not want to go against him. Okay. The panchayat was held the same evening under the old banyan tree. Juman stood up and said, The voice of the punch is the voice of God. Let my aunt nominate the head punch. I will abide by her decision. So here the word nominate means propose or suggest someone's name for something. And the phrase abide by means accept. So the panchayat was held that evening itself under an old banyan tree. Juman said that the voice of the panch is next to God's voice. And he asked Juman's aunt to suggest a head punch. And he agreed to accept uh, the decision of the head punch. The panch knows neither friend nor enemy. What do you say to Algu Chaudhary? The old lady announced. Fine, replied Juman, hiding his joy over this unexpected piece of luck. Chachi, you are aware of my friendship with Juman, said Algu. I know that, replied the aunt, but I also know that you will not kill your conscience for the sake of friendship. God lives in the heart of the punch, and his voice is the voice of God. And the old lady explained her case. So here the word conscience means moral sense. So Juman's aunt told that the punch is always right. The punch do not discriminate between the rich and the poor. And Juman showed his acceptance of this fact, hiding his feeling of joy. And Algu spoke to Juman's aunt, asking her if she was aware of his friendship with Juman or not. And to this she replied that she was well aware and she also believed that he would not kill his inner voice he will not kill his conscience for the sake of his friendship okay so with this juman's aunt started telling every detail of her case to the punch juman said algu you and i are old friends your aunt is as dear to me as you now i am a punch you and your aunt are equal before me what have you to say in your defense Three years ago, began Juman, my aunt transferred her property to me. I promised to support her as long as she lived. I have done all I could. There have been a couple of quarrels between my wife and her, but I can't stop it. Now my aunt is claiming a monthly allowance from me. This is not possible. That's all I have to say. Here, the word quarrel means fight. So, Algu asked Juman to speak in his defense. He also told Juman that at that time, he was the punch. He was not his best friend. Okay, so he and his aunt both were equal for him at that time. So, Juman told everyone that uh, his aunt had transferred her property in his name three years back. And in return, he promised to look after her as long as she lived. Juman also told that she and his wife fought with each other but he couldn't do anything about it and because of this reason uh, now uh, his aunt was asking for some amount of money from him on a monthly basis and this was not possible for him to do. Juman was cross-examined by Algu and others. Then Algu announced, We have gone into the matter carefully. In our opinion, Juman must pay his aunt a monthly allowance or else the property goes back to her. So Juman was cross-examined by Algu and others. Cross-examined means interrogated. Some other questions were asked from Juman. Okay, so uh, then Algu announced that they had gone into the matter carefully means they have discussed about the matter and according to them, Juman had to pay his aunt a monthly allowance or otherwise the property would go back to her aunt. 
Now the two friends were seldom seen together. The bond of friendship between them was broken. In fact, Juman was Algu's enemy and wanted his revenge. So here the word seldom means rarely and the word revenge means to harm someone as a punishment for harm that they have done to you. All right. So now after this case, uh, the two friends, Juman and Algu, they were seldom, they were rarely seen together. Their bond of friendship was broken, means they were no longer friends now. In fact, Juman was Algu's enemy now and he wanted to take his revenge. He wanted to hurt uh, Algu. So this is all for today and we'll continue with this chapter in the next video in which we'll discuss how Juman took his revenge from Algu Chaudhary. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.